Hey guys, it is exactly nine o'clock, one hour after we left central Mexico City and we are here at the pyramids in Teotihuacan. Still early, there's not too many cars, but I do see quite a few buses. Our guide was just telling us that uh, it's a very common school trip to take. So I saw a lot of little Mexican school kids getting off the buses. So guys, as you know, a lot of times we just explore the city on our own, but today we have something special. We're teaming up with a walking tour group called Mexico at Pie. So we're going to be learning a lot today from our new friends. Arturo. Hi guys. Nice to meet you. And Andres. Hello, how are you? Very Welcome. good, man. Great. I'm Me. excited. <laughs> and Nari is going to be... Yeah. Will you be teaching us stuff too? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was unexpected. We just turned the corner and suddenly... Suddenly we turned the corner and I just saw it and... Oh my goodness. That is something special, guys. Very important tip. Bring good footwear. These staircases are no joke. So of course, I'd seen pictures of Teotihuacan before, but there's nothing quite like standing here in the middle, is there? Honestly, yeah, just wow, wow. This is my, yeah, first time to see Pyramid. Congratulations. Yeah, and it's, I don't know, it's incredible, and I love the, the design. They use the volcano stones. This used to be the site of the biggest city in all of the Americas. There could have been as many as 200,000 people living here thousands of years ago in the time of ancient Rome. So, yeah, it's really incredible to think about that, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh. Now there's 200,000 school kids. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, these are big steps. <laughs> you made it? I made it. It's really incredible. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Incredible, huh? We just learned something that just blew my mind. As you can see, there are the big pyramids. Right now we're sitting on top of the pyramid. Well, not quite on top, but we're sitting halfway up the pyramid of the moon. Over there, the even bigger one is known as the pyramid of the sun. But here's what is absolutely incredible to me. Arturo said that, see those little hills over there? Those are undiscovered pyramids. but these are the things that are missing. To You're saying floor. that there's temples under those little hills. These ones, did you see there's one? Here, you see this, this little one? Yeah, it It's another like this. That one is another. I guess the reason is that there just isn't the funds, there just isn't the interest in doing it because they already have enough. But imagine living somewhere where you have so many pyramids that it's like, well, we don't need to dig those up. We already have so many, right? It kind of adds to the sense of mystery. I mean, not only is this an ancient site, but it's, it's an ancient site that we're still discovering. 
Okay guys, now I need to put you down and focus on the next challenge, getting down. So it's now about 10.20 in the morning and you can see that more and more people are coming in. It is getting busier, but it's just so huge that you can definitely find space to yourself. I mean, all these little pyramids are still empty. It's like pick a pyramid, where do you want to go? So that is what we climbed before. Now it's time for the big one. Pyramid of the Sun. Now maybe it's because of the gentle slope of the pyramid, but from a distance it doesn't actually look that tall. But when you get close up and you see how tiny the people look, you realize this thing is huge. It's over 200 steps to the top. And these are big steps. <laughs> we made it to the top. <sighs> oh wait, what's that? <laughs> Halfway. <laughs> but the view is already incredible. <sighs> oh, this is it guys, we finally made it to the top. <laughs> this is the top part. Now you are at the top of the biggest pyramid in the world that you can climb. The pyramid of Egypt are bigger, yes, I know. But you cannot go to the top. Nari, how does it feel to be on top of the pyramid? Oh no, it's just it's speechless. <laughs> I have nothing to say. It's just, and it's like weirdly beautiful because you know these are like made of only stones, right? Nothing painted. But it's just yeah. Look at this. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I definitely recommend coming here early in the day uh, because there were a few less people when we first arrived and also that sun is no joke. So we saw the pyramid of the moon and we saw the pyramid of the sun. Now we are at what Arturo calls the most beautiful pyramid here. It's a long walk from the other two. It took us about 20 minutes to get here. Just shows you how big this place actually is. Obviously this place is missing some meters. Also it's temple at the top. Imagine the size of this one. This one was covering that one. <laughs> That was a pyramid dedicated to the old god, and this was the new one. So when they changed their gods, they built over the old pyramid. And it wasn't until it was excavated by Mexicans, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years later that this was discovered. I think it's an interesting metaphor for kind of the Mexican identity, the way that there's just cultures built on top of cultures, you know, going back to the ancient people and then the Mayans and the Aztecs and then the Spanish. It's just, it's really something special to be here. So that was it guys, Teotihuacan. Did you like it? I mean, I know a lot of you guys have been telling me to go there for ages. I don't know why it took us so long. I guess we were just waiting for the right time. I gotta give a huge shout out to Mexico at Pie. They are this video sponsor. They reached out to me, they'd been watching my videos and they offered to take us on a tour. So I was more than happy to join them on that one. And they gave us a fridge magnet. 
Who doesn't love fridge magnets? <laughs> so yeah, link to their website and all that good stuff down below uh, if you want to learn more. But other than that, guys, I have some big stuff coming up. Uh, I have a big trip that's going to be taking me out of Mexico City. And yeah, see you soon. <laughs>